that uh, I sort a lot of junk, and this came in one time, a, a long time back, and it's got a, all types of measurement here in the bottom, and, and I always thought it was a film inspection uh, loop of some kind, and, and I never could find another one. Well, I, I dropped this one about six months ago, and bust. And so, uh, having glued this thing together several times, and it's pretty much on its last leg and has served me extremely well, and definitely my favorite loop. And if you're familiar with uh, the loop market today, unless you're willing to spend 50 bucks or something like that to get a good loop, and this one here is not a bad one, I think this one was made in... Japan or Germany or Taiwan it's markings wore off so it may be a, a Chinese one too I don't know but you know, I carry a couple loops in my pocket all the time this is one I carry that has held up pretty good but most of them within uh, two weeks or a month or whatever uh, they end up like this uh, in pieces uh, they're completely garbage and yeah, this is a 30 power GM uh, so uh, parts of it's missing and, and it's just a wreck to begin with. Uh, and then you get a lot of these small ones uh, that are pretty worthless, hard to use. And they fall apart and, uh, and it's in poor shape and half of it's missing. The other big one, I can't find it, I don't know, misplaced or something. But a good loop is either very expensive or very hard to find these days and, and a little of both. I used to those things were made in uh, normally Germany is where the good ones came from but uh, I don't even know how much those are now I imagine they're probably forty to sixty dollars and so I started looking again to find this and, and using different uh, search methods to find it and I have actually identified what this is that I use because I really never knew. So I went on eBay and found a couple of them. And so now I have, we call it the eye around here. I now have three extra eyes. And what this thing is called is a pocket comparator. And it comes from the tool and die industry, which makes a lot of sense since I have a uh, Quite a background in that industry myself and must have been something that I picked up uh, in my manufacturing business but uh, so that's what they are uh, I highly recommend them uh, my favorite eyepiece for sure and uh, I'll be probably snapping up a few more of these on on eBay I gave uh, uh, ten dollars for this one and uh, twenty dollars for this one but uh, super high quality, uh, made in USA, uh, no longer available. And I think these are probably from around 1950, 1960, in that area. So there it is. Uh, if you're wondering what kind of loop I use, it is a pocket comparator, uh, basically a tool and, a tool and die inspection device that uh, that I use and, and love and uh, it's unique the way it works uh, and I think all these that I have now are, are 10 powers but uh, fantastic so uh, you want my recommendation on a great loop uh, that will last you I would say a lifetime but <clears throat> they are somewhat fragile so if you drop them uh, on a tile floor like I did, uh, you're liable to break them. Uh, they cannot be beat. I highly recommend uh, one of these if you're looking for a great loop. Uh, don't buy some new made in China garbage or even made in Germany or anywhere else. You know, Buy old, buy used, buy vintage, buy antique, or don't buy. Uh, or at least if you're going to buy, buy USA. Don't buy a crap made by nine-year-olds in a communist country. I also have my own bullion bags now. I got in a hundred of these uh, 
bank bags and I will start shipping out some some bigger orders on those and I I didn't get them screen printed I just uh, am marking on them by hand uh, in our spare time around the office here uh, they'll advertise the YouTube channel and will advertise uh, my buying service so probably if you pick up uh, 20 of my rounds uh, which there will be some lots of 20 coming up on those real soon uh, you probably get a free bag I may even off offer some package deals on there the bore round uh, is going uh, decent but you know I'm not selling any of the rounds in in any kind of quantity and, and you well know why and that's because of the spot price uh, waiting for that to increase uh, whether it does or not uh, short term I does not really make a lot of difference to me I just assume it stay low so uh, more people can accumulate uh, more real money and uh, and turn in some of their fiat so that's about all I got for you today uh, there's my answer uh, scrap gold experts favorite loop is a pocket comparator uh, not really even meant for the jewelry business but uh, <laughs> I, I I can't say enough good things about this loop they're awesome and you can remove that measuring device from the end if you wish but uh, I find it comes in handy for stuff that's all I got for you today goodbye